Okay, after a few hours uh, more of playing with Micro Studio, I've been able to accomplish this. Um, it's a minimal Space Invaders. Uh, there's not too much happening here except the aliens coming down uh, row by row. I only have five of them, but I got a player sprite moving, fire and collision detection. And I think that's pretty good uh, for the amount of time I've invested in this. So let's take a look at uh, what I have here. Uh, let's check out the sprites first. I, the sprites I ended up using was the bullet, uh, the player, which is the ship, and the enemy, uh, which is the alien here. Uh, I did draw another ship, but that was too big, and another enemy, and that was also too big. I never ended up using these. Let's move on over to the sounds. I created these sounds with the uh, SFXR. This is a program you could download and create your own dynamic sounds. So there's explosions, laser, pick up coin, hit, jump. So these, every time you hit this, creates a variation of it. You can choose a different sine wave. Uh, and at the end, you could export to wave. So that's what I did, and I dragged them into here. I click on sound, and then you drag it in there. And music, uh, I did not use any music, dock, nothing in dock. Settings, I used the uh, aspect ratio forced 4 by 3, uh, microscript, and that's about it in terms of settings. So let's take a look at the code. I did end up uh, using a number of files. I ended up creating my own uh, bullet class, uh, which has various options. You can take a look at this uh, when you download or take a look at the code on my GitHub. Um, the enemy also has its own class and its own draw and its own uh, functions to move it. And same thing with the, uh, the player. They're all modeled basically the same way. Uh, we handle everything in the main uh, code. Uh, Everything goes through the update process, so I have a little timer here that every, uh, I wouldn't say 10 seconds, but every uh, every time it counts to 10, it checks to see if uh, if the if it's if the fire uh, if sorry if the uh, bullet has hit the alien. Uh, so if there's a hit, uh, we remove them from the screen. Uh, we also check for keyboard. I check if uh, if they pressed F, which uh, if the fire is not in motion, it sets it in motion. And we check for left and right, and we move the player left and right. And we have our draw routine. Uh, clear the screen. We draw the uh, aliens, and we draw the bullet if it's in motion, and we constantly draw the player, which is always visible. So you can take a look at the uh, the code on your own. I, I'm just starting this myself, so explaining every little detail is uh, not what I had in mind, but this is just to give you an idea of what you can accomplish in, uh, in a few hours. So I'm going to end this. I will do a follow-up video with some of the uh, gotchas and what I like and dislike about Micro Studio as I discover more things but I thought to give you a fresh impression of using this new tool. So thanks for watching.